Well, I'm obviously here to support the No Way Talk. Um, that, that's a part of it, but I'm here also with my HIV education campaign called Living Positive by Design, which is a partnership with Merck. Ooh, it just got really bright. Um, <laughs> um, and we just aim to fight the stigma of, that's associated with HIV, and that's really our main goal. Um, beyond that, we uh, advocate that HIV positive people partner with the doctor, have an open discourse, and get on a really tolerable treatment regimen that works for them mm -hmm. and keeps their virus at an undete undetectable level. And for you know people that aren't familiar with HIV, it's like we get our blood tested three or four times a year, you know, depending on the circumstance. And it's all about your viral load being undetectable and your T cells, you know, being within the range of normal. That's the ultimate goal. Interestingly enough, I'm just an open person. I'll, I'll tell you my life story. I don't mind. Um, I, you know, finding out an HIV diagnosis, especially back then, was was quite traumatic. So, I I remember telling a couple of really close friends the same day because I just needed to reach out and mm -hmm. and have some support system. Um, and then I kind of lived with it and figured out where I was going with it and got on medication and you know went through just the lifestyle change. And then, um, I would say about, you know, three, four years after that, I just was like, oh, it's just a part of me. And, you know, I think I, at that point, it wasn't, there's still such a huge stigma attached to it. Sure. I, I think I was always open about it. If someone were to ask me, I didn't go around screaming at the top of my lungs. But, um, yeah, and then I went on Project Runway and it became a national issue. And then I was fine with that. So, I mean, I, I would love if everyone was just, there was no moral judgment on the diagnosis. Unfortunately, you know, that's not the way it is yet, so we're working to get there. I live in Harlem in New York and I see from an outside, I'm not obviously not a, an African American person, but from an outsider looking in, I do see that there's a whole set of issues where they are, you know, hesitant to talk, be open about sexuality, especially homosexuality, and like, you know, there's that whole thing on the down low, and um, I just think that that needs to be addressed, and that's also part of fighting the stigma, and um, which ties back to our campaign, Living Positive by Design, and you know, the more, even as a white person, I talk about it, the more it's visible in the media. Hopefully that will reach all segments of society. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the more they're comfortable about talking about it, the less they'll have to be secretive, the more open they'll be with their physician, their partners, all that stuff. And, and unfortunately, it's the people that aren't getting the health care and have a high viral load that are transmitting it to other people. Well, you know, I trained for the Out Games in Copenhagen, which were this past August. Um, I trained for like four months hardcore. I really don't have time. It's like it comes and goes because like it takes a major commitment. But I was swimming at least once a day for two hours, and then I go to the gym for an hour. So it was pretty major. It's not really realistic, and it's not realistic for me either. Like since the competition, I haven't, I haven't even been back in the pool. So I'd have to. I'm planning to go to the Gay Games next summer, mm -hmm. so I'll have to like figure out how I'm going to do all that. But <laughs> yeah, especially if you're a working professional trying to like make a living, it's not realistic. <laughs> anything right now because it's a full-time job so I'm doing TV stuff I'm doing living positive by design so that's kind of taking up all my time but um, you know it's always I've been a designer for 16 years so if none of, none of this works out I'll go back and make dresses <laughs> <laughs> The funny thing is, Dale was never really in the picture. That was like a, oh. a publicity story. Like, what happened is Dale and I went to the Out 100 Awards mm. together, and like, you know, we, we thought, I, we had crushes on each other. It was not a big deal, but 
Andy Cohen from Bravo got hold of, got wind of it, and like posted it on his blog, and then Star picked it up, and like they're like the new reality couple, and I was like, we went on one date, like. So, and then people were like, oh, I love you and Dale together, it's so cute, and I'm like, we're not together, so it's funny. But, um, no, I'm hopelessly single. I'm too busy. Like, someone who wanted to, would want to date me would have to, like, put up with a lot of crap. <laughs>